Hey, Anna. <laughs> Long time, haven't seen you in a while. No. Uh, should I try again? All right. Can we shut the door? Hey, Anna. Um, I want to ask you what you think of Gigi and Bella Hadid's style. Recently, Vogue.com ran uh, 73 questions on Bella, and she was about to get on her extremely good-looking horse. And she was wearing white jodhpurs, if I remember rightly, and a, a hacking jacket and, and boots. And she looked better than I've ever seen her. And Gigi, well, Gigi always looks fantastic, but maybe never better than she's when she's wearing a great white T-shirt and, and jeans in the street. Obviously, part of what the, who they are and what they do is dressing to be photographed, whether it's for a video or for a print publication or simply in the street. And sometimes, uh, I mean, obviously, they have to always be lens appropriate, camera ready. But for my own eye, I like it best when they look a little bit more real. Hey, Anna, what's the one thing you can't leave the house without? I cannot leave the house without my sunglasses, my phone, and my Starbucks. What is your favorite decade in fashion? My favorite decade in fashion is hopefully going to be the 2020s. And then if I'm looking backwards, I love the 20s in 1920s as opposed to 2020s. So a hundred year span. Hi, Anna. I'm wondering what are your top tips for pregnancy dressing? You know, I've been very uh, taken by the way Meghan Markle has been dressing. The Duchess of Sussex have been dressing throughout her pregnancy. Her heels actually seem to be getting taller every time I, I look at a picture of her. When pregnant, I think it's very important to continue wearing your own personal style. I never understand why women suddenly decide they want to hide their pregnancy. Why not? celebrate it. It's an incredibly joyful time in, in a woman's life and it's uh, nothing to be hidden or be ashamed of. Much better to, in a way, flaunt it. So go for it. Hi Miss Wintour, how do I spice up an all black outfit? Just don't wear all black. It seems too gloomy and uh, as if one's going to a funeral so I would definitely think about adding some color or a favorite piece of jewelry or maybe white boots, just something that's a little bit unexpected. Hi Anna, is there anywhere you shouldn't wear jeans? Listen, jeans are great. I love jeans and um, looking at all those great looking models on the street wearing their jeans and t-shirts, they all look fantastic. But I, I also think there are times when you need to be respectful. You should definitely not wear jeans to Buckingham Palace. Maybe at another point in history, you might not want to wear jeans to the White House, and you should definitely not wear jeans when you are meeting your future in-laws for the first time. Hey Anna, what makes a modern style icon? A modern style icon is someone who has something to say and uses her style and her, her look to help forward that message. Our women and men who look like they are dressing themselves rather than being influenced strictly by their stylists and women like Kate Moss or Cara Delevingne or Lupita certainly come to mind. They always look exactly like themselves and I always look forward to seeing uh, what they're going to wear on the red, red carpet or elsewhere. What do you think of mixing patterns? I think one should be very, very careful when mixing patterns. You need to be uh, very confident and usually pretty tall, otherwise you can look a little busy. So what do you think of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's style? I think people spend a, a lot too much time talking about her style rather than her substance and what she has to say, but I do personally love the red lipstick and the hoop earrings. I think it's wonderful to have a, a young woman in the political arena that is obviously not frightened to say what she means, that represents another generation, that is uh, independent thinking, that isn't falling into line with the conventional wisdom of what a woman in politics should be or how she should look or how she should conduct herself. So good for her. I'm looking forward to seeing where she takes us.